Is IonQ the new NVIDIA for quantum tech or is it all just hype? Well, that's exactly what we'll discover in this video. I know my subscribers like tech, so I bring tech stock analysis. Here's what we'll cover. First, why IonQ stock is surging right now. Second, what quantum computing is and how it could impact Bitcoin. Third, how IonQ stacks up against its competition. Fourth, should you invest in IonQ? All right, that's it. Let's dive in. Well, first of all, why IonQ stock is surging right now. IonQ stock just exploded up an insane 37% in a single day. Right now, it's trading around $43 and the financial world is absolutely buzzing about it. But let's pause here and unpack what's really driving this massive surge. First off, IonQ's CEO, Nicolo De Masi, dropped a comparison that's got investors drooling. He declared IonQ aims to become the NVIDIA of quantum computing. Now, if you remember NVIDIA, their stock skyrocketed when the world realized how essential their chips were to the AI boom. This isn't just empty hype. Investors love these big, bold visions because they can mean huge returns. And clearly, they're placing their bets big time on IonQ right now. But let's get deeper into the numbers. IonQ didn't just rely on catchy comparisons, they delivered results. Their latest earnings absolutely crushed expectations. Revenue hit $7.57 million for the quarter, midpoint of the previously provided range, and their losses are quickly narrowing. Plus, they've recently secured an incredible $700 million cash infusion. What does this mean? IonQ is now armed with ample resources to fuel rapid growth and possibly more strategic acquisitions. And speaking of strategic moves, IonQ has been making some eye-catching acquisitions lately. They recently purchased Capella Space, a satellite imaging company and light sync technologies, which specializes in quantum repeaters. Why are these acquisitions a big deal? Because IonQ isn't just developing quantum computers, they're building a comprehensive quantum network that could revolutionize cybersecurity, satellite communications, and even global internet infrastructure. Imagine a world where quantum computing secures all your online data and communications. It's no longer a distant dream, but becoming a tangible reality. However, we have to address what's happening today. After yesterday's massive spike, IonQ's stock dipped about 5%. What's going on? Well, after such an explosive rally, it's natural for some investors to cash out their profits, especially considering the broader market jitters triggered by Trump's latest tariff announcements impacting tech stocks widely. But let's put this into perspective. Despite today's drop, IonQ has delivered an impressive 303% return since its IPO back in January 2021. Still, if you're considering jumping into IonQ right now, you need to be cautious. Watch the support level closely around $35. If the stock slips below this threshold, we might see more volatility and potential downside ahead. But while quantum computing is revolutionary but still highly unpredictable, IonQ isn't profitable yet and these dramatic swings are all part of the quantum journey. It's a thrilling ride with enormous potential, but it's definitely not for the faint-hearted. So if you're ready to get on board with IonQ, buckle up tight. But what is quantum computing anyway and what IonQ does? I always say that you need to understand a business before you think about investing in it. So let's understand this company's business. Quantum computing might sound super complicated, but let's break it down in the simplest way possible. Imagine your regular computer is like flipping a coin that lands either on heads, zero, or tails, one. Every operation your computer does uses these simple yes or no, heads or tails choices. Now, quantum computing is totally different. It's like spinning the coin. While the coin is spinning, it's neither heads nor tails. It's both at the same time. In quantum computing, these spinning coins are called quantum bits or qubits. Unlike normal bits, qubits can exist in multiple states simultaneously, thanks to a weird but cool quantum property called superposition. Why does this matter? Well, because qubits can represent and process a vast amount of possibilities all at once. Quantum computers can tackle incredibly complex problems way faster than traditional computers. Think about solving massive puzzles or cracking codes that would take regular computers thousands of years. Quantum computers could do this in minutes or seconds. Now here's where things get a bit tricky for cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Bitcoin relies heavily on cryptographic security to protect transactions. But quantum computers have the potential power to crack these cryptographic codes much more quickly. While this threat isn't immediate and the technology isn't there yet, it's something that the crypto world has to keep an eye on. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies might need to evolve their security measures as quantum computing advances. In short, quantum computing is an incredibly powerful way of computing that could revolutionize technology, security, and the way we solve big problems. It's exciting, it's groundbreaking, but it also brings new challenges, especially for areas relying heavily on encryption like cryptocurrencies. Now, how is this growing company related to quantum computing? IonQ is at the forefront of the quantum computing revolution, dedicated to developing and harnessing the power of quantum technology. But what exactly does 
does that mean and how do they do it? At its core, IonQ builds quantum computers and their unique approach involves trapping individual atoms with precision controlled lasers to create stable qubits. You don't need to understand, just know that this method, known as ion trapping, helps IonQ build some of the most reliable and powerful quantum processors in the world. IonQ's goal isn't just to build quantum computers. They aim to make quantum computing accessible and useful for solving real world problems that are impossible or impractical for classical computers. These problems range across fields like pharmaceuticals, discovering new drugs, logistics, optimizing routes, finance, modeling complex financial markets, and even climate science, simulating climate change scenarios. Beyond quantum computing itself, IonQ is actively developing a broader quantum ecosystem. Recent acquisitions, such as Capella Space and Light Sync Technologies, highlight IonQ's ambition to establish a comprehensive quantum infrastructure. With Capella Space, IonQ plans to deploy a space-based quantum key distribution network, essentially using quantum technology to secure communications with a level of safety that traditional cryptography cannot match. Meanwhile, LightSync Technologies brings expertise in quantum repeaters, critical devices that extend the range and functionality of quantum networks. IonQ is also deeply involved in quantum research and education, collaborating with academic institutions and industry leaders to advance quantum understanding and applications. They're positioning themselves not only as a technological innovator, but as a foundational player in shaping the future quantum powered economy. In short, IonQ doesn't just create quantum computers. They are building the foundations for a quantum enabled future, transforming how we approach the world's toughest challenges with technology that's set to revolutionize industries and redefine possibilities. All right, let's chat about how IonQ stacks up against its competitors in quantum computing. Last year, they raked in $43.1 million. That's nearly double what they made the year before. Sure, they're not profitable yet and lost around $331.6 million, but they're clearly preparing for big moves ahead like other tech companies that wasn't profitable at the start, such as Amazon and Uber. Now, let's see what the competition is up to. IBM, you know, the massive tech giant, doesn't break out its quantum computing earnings separately. But it's obvious they're pouring tons of resources into quantum tech, launching impressive processors like the 1,121 qubit Condor and the 156 qubit Heron. Plus, IBM's profitable overall thanks to their huge range of tech products. On the smaller end, Rigetti Computing made about $2.4 million last year, actually down from the year before. Similarly, D-Wave Quantum earned around $1.9 million, also a drop. Clearly, IonQ is growing a lot faster than these smaller competitors. When it comes to technology, IonQ's got a pretty futuristic setup. I just said that they use something called trapped ions, basically using lasers to hold and control individual atoms. IBM takes a different path with superconducting qubits, which need incredibly cold environments to work. They're aiming for scalability, but this method tends to be more complicated and expensive. Rigetti also uses superconducting qubits, but tries to keep things modular to scale easier. D-Wave's approach is totally different. They use quantum annealing, which works great for specific problems, but isn't as flexible overall. Looking at the market, IonQ is valued around $8.75 billion. Pretty impressive for a pure play quantum computing company. They're not messing around either, scooping up companies like Capella Space and setting up partnerships to rapidly grow. IBM, on the other hand, is huge and super diversified, but remains deeply committed to advancing quantum computing. Rigetti and D-Wave have tougher paths ahead, needing some big breakthroughs to stay competitive. So what's the big takeaway? IonQ is quickly becoming a big player in the quantum computing scene, thanks to their cutting edge tech, aggressive growth strategy, and strong financial backing. It looks like their big bets might just pay off. Now to conclude this video, let's be real. Quantum computing sounds amazing, but is investing in IonQ really a good move right now? First off, quantum computing is super new and the tech is still finding its feet. Yeah, IonQ is growing fast. They almost doubled their revenue to $43.1 million last year, but they're not profitable yet with losses around $331.6 million. They've got plenty of cash though, over $360 million. So they're geared up for the long haul. Here's the thing, investing in IonQ or quantum computing in general is pretty risky. You have to be okay with seeing big swings in your investment. If you're the kind of person who panics when your stocks dip, this probably isn't for you. Also, if you're looking to make quick money, think again. Quantum computing is about playing the long game. You're looking at keeping your money in for five, maybe even 10 years or more, waiting for this industry to mature and really take off. In my opinion, it's a good one if you like crypto technology, are focused on the future and can understand the business. But lastly, here's my daily tip. Keep your portfolio diversified. Don't go all in on IonQ or any quantum stock. Think of it like maybe just five to 10% of your total investment at most. Balance it out with safer options always. So if you're comfortable with big risks, have patience for long-term growth and keep your portfolio balanced, IonQ could be a thrilling ride with potentially huge returns down the line. But remember, it's not for the faint-hearted. Well, that's it, cousins. Stay invested.